Good morning, sisters, brothers, siblings. The Jerry Wirf Organizing Award is given each year to an individual member, local, or group of workers who work tirelessly and effectively at organizing, empowering workers, and growing our union. This group of members has continued to create spaces where members can find support and unrepresented workers can engage our union in ways that they have not been able to before. This group of workers recognizes that improving working conditions for behavioral health workers and building power and union density in the industry needs to start with educating a broader public, working to eliminate the stigma around mental health and substance abuse and building a much broader movement. After all, we all have physical health, we all have mental health, and we need to care for both. These workers have and continue to demonstrate the values of what it means to be APSME. With that in mind, it is a privilege to announce that this year's Jerry Wirth Organizing Award goes to Minnesotans for better mental health care. While the award goes to all of the members who have put in countless hours of work building this movement, Alethea Modlin and Stacey Lamke of Local 1574, Parker Langdon of Local 722, and Marty Horth of Local 844 deserve recognition for leading this group. Congratulations. The ASME International Union put on a summit for mental health workers in Minnesota, and we felt that those conversations were so important and so vital to what we need that we decided we'd continue to do them ourselves. Our goal is to improve work conditions for our employees and uh, provide better treatment for our uh, clients trying to bring up standards of care in this uh, often overlooked area. Current resources for mental health aren't enough. The current services aren't enough. We, do, we have something, but it's, we're not quite there. Uh, not only looking out for patients' needs, but also for those who, who serve those patients and trying to, to find um, better ways to provide services and better, better way legislation, better... Um, better staffing models, better care, um, so that all of this, when it comes together, will provide those better services that we need. Um, so initially, a lot of our summits were geared towards who are we, what do we stand for, what do we want to work on? Um, so we came up with the name, this was for mental health care, and as the name implies, we're focused on getting better mental health care services, better working conditions for workers and mental health, basically anything under the sun as far as mental health goes in Minnesota, we just want to make it better. Our first summit was in July of 2019. And with those initial summits, we also had some more educational type summits, like how to address stigma in the workplace or otherwise. The summits that we do to help educate and end the stigma for mental illness is going to be great work. I have good hopes for that. Additionally, we do uh, check-ins every Tuesday for uh, every morning and evening for folks maybe who don't cook out of the social outlet right now that they need because of uh, COVID. Our Tuesday check-ins came out of just checking in at one summit to, to see how people were doing after COVID had started. And it became apparent the need out there for people to have community and connection. We had sent out a survey and had a good response to it. And it really showed us that people needed some place to go and talk, whether it was about workplace issues, home issues, and just COVID in general. We've reached other states with the work that we're doing. That's been really helpful for people you know, who haven't been able to have that social interaction at their workplace or otherwise we're just in our stress and need some place, a safe environment for them to vent with other people. In time when, when COVID has pulled us apart and told us to stay in our houses and made the threat real to all of us that that we still need to come together and to to share a community. Our next upcoming thing will be let's get the legislators in the room. Let's have a summit for them and educate them on these important issues so that they're aware of what's going on in their area and with the mental health in general, so that maybe we can start getting some of the changes we need here in Minnesota. One part that I've been involved in is, is looking at education. What is out there um, as far as how are we educating our children um, around these issues, um, not just for the ones that, that uh, it becomes all too real for, but also those who it uh, 
Um, it's just someone else. What we've done has been phenomenal. We have a really great committee and would love to have anybody else join us for these and step up and help our mental health workers. It's not a us versus them. It's, it's all of us.